Hi everybody, this video is about file management in Bidographer. Now this is really only relevant to paid members, but if you're using it for free and you're curious about how files are saved, you can watch this to get a sense. So I'm going to start a new project. I'm not going to change any of the settings, I'll just launch it like this. And then when I go to my projects, you can see that it's automatically saved it. And so you don't need to click save, uh, you don't need to do anything. Anytime you open a new project, it will automatically save it like that. Now, had I started a new project and given it a title like that, I'll put some beads on this time. Now you'll see that there it is. And so that, that's a really good habit to get into is naming your files so that you can find them easily. So if you want to delete the files, you can click on them and a new menu pops up. You can open, rename, let's try that, um, example two. And you can see now it's changed the name of it. You can duplicate it. Let's try example three. And now it's duplicated it. You can delete it, you can download it, or you can cancel to get back to the menu. So let's delete that. Let's delete that. Let's delete this. Uh-oh, open and delete are not available to us. And the reason is this example is what is currently open if we go return to the canvas. You cannot delete projects that are currently open. So how do you delete a project that's open? You open up another project. So let's open Shuangxi, and here it is. We'll go back, and now, now we can delete. So let's go ahead. Thank you.